Well, what a day it was to get out to the ballpark this afternoon as we had some local college games going on around East Texas, beginning over at Angelina College, where the Roadrunners faced off with Navarro for a Friday doubleheader. Angelina down 11 to 2 in the bottom of the third when they would begin to rally. Here's Taz Pate, who sends a rocket into the outfield. Roadrunners with a man on second is able to round third and come home, giving Angelina a much needed run. Later on, Mark Henderson would cross the plate thanks to an infield single. Roadrunners would score six runs in the inning to make it 11 to 8 Navarro. But the Bulldogs would answer back when Jake Simpson with a runner on first would hammer this one out way over the right field wall. I mean, that ball was gone the second it touched his bat. Navarro would later add more runs and eventually take game one by a score of 18 to 8. Now in game two, it would not get any better for Angelina as they would fall hard again. Final score 15 to 4 and Navarro gets the sweep. And uh, all while this was going on, right next door is where some softball was being played as the Lady Roadrunners were busy taking on San Jack in another doubleheader. In the bottom of the fifth, Angelina down 5-2, to two, trying to get a rally going, but they would come up short. Skylar Martin with a runner on first hits a sharp grounder to the shortstop, but San Jack is there to make the play, and the side is retired. Lady Roadrunners would show some nice defense, though. Check this out. San Jack hits a foul ball to right field where Kayla Olsen makes the catch. Runner on third attempts to tag and Olsen guns her down at the plate. That saves the run to end the inning. In the bottom of the sixth, same score, last chance for Angelina. Runner on third, two outs, and a grounder to the shortstop would be all she wrote as the Lady Roadrunners would drop game one, five to two. You know, we competed a little bit. We didn't make the adjustments that we needed to at the plate. Um, our pitching struggled a little bit. We gave up a lot of free passes and uh, runs that they didn't earn, but uh, I know we're going to come back this next game ready to compete. Unfortunately, in game two, the Lady Roadrunners would come up just short to San Jack, 6-5, to five, making it a tough day all around for Angelina College. Okay. Back